hello everybody this is Julie Garrett and today I have a shout out for Leah's reborn world if you are not subscribed to her she gives gifts every Sunday Sunday and um, some really nice gifts and I was happy and was um, lucky enough to get one of her gifts she's from Australia and I'm from Alabama and this is what I won isn't he beautiful and it took about a week to get here but um, I was slow on opening it and I had to open it up to show my husband but this heart also goes into silver and then um, silver heart with a red background. It just all depends on which way you brush it. It's sort of fun. <laughs> and isn't it gorgeous? Now watch this. You come back. It changes back to red with a silver background. How pretty is that? And she also sent me, she's of our reborn community. She also sent me a diaper from um, her, uh, from Australia. And I have not quite seen one like that. And I probably won't use it just because I had so different. And I wanna thank Leah and Lorna. Thank you so much. You are so generous. And putting these um, giveaways on every Sunday. I'm going to leave the link down below. Be sure to check her out and subscribe to her. She is an amazing person. And her daughter, Leah, is so cute. Okay, now this video is not only about the giveaway that I won. And a shout out. It is also what I've been doing at thrift stores. <laughs> Even though it is not reborn related, it's um, things that we're getting ready for our house. Our house burnt down, as you all know, and um, I'm just gathering up things along the way. So hold on just a hey, minute. One of my great finds was this 10 gallon aquarium. And I'm not having much luck with my fish. I thought I'd be safe with a guppy and two females. Well, the little butt <laughs> is eating his females' tails and killed them. So he's the only one in Panda, if I can get a close-up of him, is in all by himself in a 10-gallon tank. If anybody has any suggestions or any help on fish, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, let's go to our big find. A couple weeks ago, I had bought this balance. Okay, I Hold forgot on. to mention that uh, the fish tank I got for $10. The $10, 10 gallon aquarium. Okay, so as I was saying, this tapestry um, balance I got for three dollars a couple weeks ago and on my local find or soon find I found this vase to go with it and I thought oh that's a good match and I'm not quite sure what all I'm gonna do with this balance but I'm gonna find something and let's see if I can Show you a little more here. All right. I also found this jar. I'm big on um, ball jars, even though this is not a ball jar. It's a candle, and it's very oddly shaped, as you can see. It has a handle, and it has. A thing that comes out that you can put your candle in and you can just set it in there 
Now, is that neat? All right, and another thrift store find. I can pick it all up with one hand without breaking it. What's this? Okay, the top part and um, the bottom part. Um, I might have mentioned in, but just for you newcomers, I have um, gonna do my house in Spanish old world. So anything old world looking, but I thought this was so pretty. And I only got it for like $2. All right, let's see. Um, next, I had a collection of crosses. I found this cross for $10, big iron cross. And I thought it was very, very pretty. So that's gonna go with my collection of crosses. And then my other thrift store find was, let's see if I can do this. Now y'all are gonna think I'm crazy, but this is a sample of different laces and I got it for $2. And I'm a very crafty person and I'm gonna find something to do with this. And as you can see, it has all different kinds of laces in. I don't know if I'm gonna sew them together or quite what I'm gonna do with it, but for $2, shoot, you can do something with that. <laughs> I'll find something. But anyway, it is full of different laces. Isn't that pretty? So, for another part of my crafty part, I also got, if I can get it up here without spilling it, was this tin. And believe it or not, it is a popcorn tin. I have never seen one that looked like a lunch, um, sorry, not a lunch, a milk pail. And inside, hold on just one second. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. Okay, okay. hold on. Inside was beads. What a bonus. Full of wooden beads. Now again, I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with it. If I'm gonna glue them together to make something or what I'm going to do, but, oh, what a find. I, I, I'll figure something out with these wooden beads. Okay, next project. I found this Thomas Edison light. Isn't that pretty? And I got that for like $2, and it just is so pretty to maybe put in a foyer, you know, where you just want some, just one light or maybe behind a table, on a table behind a couch. Okay, let's see, what else do I have? Um, okay, hold on just a minute. I also found these stained glass windows at six dollars a piece and they have the chains on them for something to hang in the window and I may add a little color to them um, I'm not sure yet and I may darken the frames a little bit but aren't those pretty six dollars a piece Okay, and hang on just a minute. And last but least, the cover needs washing, but I got this car seat for $20, which I thought was a pretty good find. And it has the hood, oops, and there you go, or not the hood, but you can see that there's a little bit of a stain on the head part and I think I can wash that out or get that out in the meantime everybody hey do something kind for somebody today 
just one act of kindness for one person or just one time a day, I try to do every day. And hey, you don't know how much that'll spread. Maybe somebody will be there with an act of kindness for you someday. So thank you all so, so much for visiting. Be sure to ring the bell, subscribe, and comment. I love to hear your comments. And y'all come back now. You hear?